Okay. <laughs> So uh, uh, the Fourier transform. Uh, so uh, uh, in this uh, part, uh, we were studying uh, uh, their problem uh, uh, on a segment from zero to L. But uh, actually, it, it is uh, a little bit simpler to study the problem uh, on a circle. And uh, it's also a legitimate uh, uh, problem for, for the wave equation uh, uh, because uh, we can uh, uh, consider initial, uh, we consider boundary conditions uh, uh, like uh, U of uh, 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 zero equals to U of L. Uh, So u of uh, uh, of uh, t uh, zero equals to u of uh, t l. Mm. So uh, uh, the picture sh should be like this: uh, there will be the circle uh, from zero to l, uh, from zero to l, and there will be some string uh, placed on this circle. So in this case, uh, we will not have this. Uh, uh, we will not have side boundary conditions, uh, and the, the analogs of uh, this uh, phi is, uh, uh, will be uh, phi k is uh, e, e, is uh, a sine uh, sine of sine uh, maybe the side for sine pi or maybe phi n phi n over l uh, uh, well in this case 2 pi n over l times e to the uh, 2 pi i uh, n x over l well let, let me just try to a solution of the wave equation and maybe uh, let us uh, switch immediately to the circle of of length one uh, so um, u of uh, t and x uh, will be then sum of uh, a n uh, cosine of t pi n over l plus uh, b n sine of uh, 2 pi n over l um, uh, times uh, e to the 2 pi i uh, n x uh, uh, n t n x uh, ah, sorry I decided to put l equals to 1 so it is just uh, 2 pi n t and here it will be cosine of 2 pi nt. And uh, here, this uh, periodicity con condition is of the same kind as you wanted to uh, make uh, here. Um, because uh, now this um, exponential should be periodic. So uh, this uh, uh, function is real. And uh, here uh, I used a little bit more convenient basis of uh, uh, complex uh, functions because they contain cosines and sines uh, at the same time. And uh, we don't need to think about this. Uh, and the uh, reality condition of uh, uh, this U uh, imposes some conditions uh, on uh, these coefficients in A's and B's. Uh, and so, uh, who can tell what are what are these um, conditions? Uh, so, if we say that u of t and x uh, uh, equals to u of t and x uh, complex conjugate, uh, then what can we say about complex conjugate to a? Uh, And the complex conjugate of uh, B. Uh, 
no, not not quite because uh, what happens with this exponential when you take a complex conjugate? A no what name ah no no ah no what is E no but why why what does it mean how can it appear no, it's a, it's a, 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 a very simple uh, computation. So we take a u of t and x uh, complex conjugate uh, and just write what it is. It is a sum of n uh, uh, a n sine of uh, uh, 2 pi n t uh, plus uh, b n sine of 2 pi n t. Uh, and the uh, uh, conjugate, uh, and the, um, we also conjugate this exponential. And so, uh, what is the conjugate of uh, this exponential? Mm -hmm. Yes. So to, to compare it with this sum, we need to uh, change uh, summation index to minus n. Uh, or to change summation index in this uh, formula to minus n. So if you just change any n to minus n, uh, it will give uh, the same kind of uh, expression. Right? So and we just need to compare them coefficient by coefficient. Okay. So. So what? Hmm? Uh, e e e yes, uh, we are we are asking for this uh, and now, but it's not uh, uh, necessary in principle because it is uh, in the linear equation. Uh, you can say that it is solved by a um, uh, real and imaginary part of you. So it's a big deal. But if we ask about the reality condition, it would be nice to to see them. So, so what is the answer? What is this reality condition for A? But why why A N and why multiplied? Uh, what is the logic? Yes, yes. Because uh, we have one, one, we have one series. Uh, so so uh, I have written this uh, series uh, such that it, it is expansion in e to the minus two pi i and x, and uh, it uh, reverses uh, to all n. Uh, so, so if we compare this to series coefficient by coefficient, uh, um, we need to uh, identify a n star with a minus n, so that because uh, and for b we have this condition: b n star equals to uh, b minus n uh, minus b minus n. So, so 
So are there any questions? Uh, this or what? Hmm? This, this, why? Uh, we are asking. Is uh, a real uh, function? Hmm? Who is a uh, U is a uh, real function? Yes. Uh, yes, and this is precisely what, what we want. Uh, we ask uh, uh, what uh, kind of condition it is at the level of the coefficients. So, uh, so uh, are there any questions or uh, oh, mm, mm, yes, yes, shall we continue? Yes. So, so, so uh, 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 what I want to say is that uh, uh, in general, uh, the uh, Fourier transform on the circle will be following. So, if you have some function phi of x, uh, which is uh, uh, a periodic uh, phi of x uh, plus one uh, equals to phi of x, so it means that this phi of x uh, uh, is uh, from uh, S1 to, in general, to some complex numbers. Uh, uh, we can construct uh, uh, the correspondence between this function and the uh, and the, uh, 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 sequences of uh, complex numbers. So it is uh, uh, one direction is a direct Fourier transform, another direction is inverse Fourier transform, and I, I don't know which which one is inverse, which is not. Uh, so they are just Fourier transforms of each other, and uh, so um, uh, we uh, construct correspondence between uh, this uh, between such uh, uh, periodic functions and. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 sequences of uh, phi n uh, of some numbers. Uh, uh, so this uh, phi n are some complex numbers. Uh, n is some integer. Uh, and this correspondence uh, looks like this. Uh, phi of x uh, equals to a sum of uh, uh, Phi n e to the two pi i n x for n integer. So it's a Fourier transform in one direction, uh, and uh, uh, now uh, the question is uh, uh, how to find uh, the e inverse uh, transformation. How to expand this coefficient in terms of uh, our function phi of x? So,
or how to say it. Or So the question is, who are these phi ants? So, so uh, uh, our hypothesis is that uh, any uh, uh, function can be expressed in in such a way. Uh, maybe I'll just write in this. Uh, so uh, if it is true, uh, then uh, uh, we should be able to reconstruct this uh, coefficients uh, from uh, uh, from the function uh, uh, from uh, uh, this uh, function. Uh, uh, so um, and to find them, uh, uh, let us uh, think about uh, the following. Uh, so. We can uh, introduce a, a scalar product. Uh, uh, on uh, this uh, a function uh, on, on a circle. Uh, namely, the product of two functions f and g uh, uh, equals to the integral f uh, of uh, x uh, star in sense complex conjugate from 0 to 1 times uh, uh, g of x uh, dx. So, so it's uh, mm, uh, one half linear. It is uh, linear in the second uh, argument and anti linear in the first one. Right. Mm. And uh, uh, we can check uh, that uh, 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 scalar product of uh, this uh, phi k, well, it's a question to uh, you, uh, phi k phi n, uh, maybe we can divide it by 2 pi, I oh, know, let's not divide, oh, let us divide maybe. Uh, well, we don't even need this. It is fine. As, 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 so, so the, the question to you: What is the mm, scalar product of such uh, exponents? Uh, ah, oh, oh, oh. So, so, sorry, I used uh, this notation for different object. Uh, so, um, the question is just: uh, What is the scalar product of e to the pi i k x and e to the two pi i n x? So, uh, <laughs> hmm? so that's the uh, exponent here of uh, k and mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks. So, is it clear to, uh, to everyone? Or is it better to compute something? So, because when k equals to n, uh, we have just integral from 0 to 1, 1 times dx is 1. Uh, when k is different from n, uh, we have an uh, uh, integral from 0 to 1, uh, e to the 2 pi i, um, n minus k, uh, dx, uh, which is uh, uh, x, which is uh, 1 or 2 pi i, k minus n. Uh, e to the 2 pi i uh, ah, uh, n minus k n minus k uh, minus 1 so because it's integral to 1 
and this equals to one and this also equals to one because n and k are integer numbers so it equals to zero right Uh, because uh, uh, we work on uh, on a circle, so our functions are periodic with uh, period one. Mm -hmm. So uh, I put uh, L equals to one for simplifier lesson. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so like it's uh, one fundamental domain, and if we go further, then this uh, function, uh, this functions will be just uh, the, the same. So they're, they're periodic. They work in the space of periodic functions. So. so um, uh, uh, so, so now, if we want to, uh, to find the coefficients. Uh, uh, so if you want uh, to find uh, this uh, coefficients, uh, we can uh, try to take a scalar product uh, with uh, uh, such an exponent, and it will give us uh, just uh, that term in this expansion. So. Uh, Using the scalar product, we can say that a scalar product of uh, phi of x uh, with uh, e to the 2 pi i, uh, or maybe better to multiply it in opposite direction, um, e to the 2 pi i n x, a scalar product with phi of x, uh, will be adjusting this coefficient um, phi n. So, explicit expression for this phi n is the integral in dx e to the minus minus two pi i and x and phi of x. Uh, so it is uh, the uh, hypothesis for the uh, form of this uh, coefficients, right? So um, uh, and uh, uh, all this uh, suggests uh, the uh, following uh, 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 formula. That uh, phi of x uh, uh, should equal uh, to sum over integer numbers mm. e to the 2 pi i and x uh, uh, phi of x in scalar product times e to the 2 pi i and x. So it's scalar product of functions. It, it, it is some number, and it, it is a it, it is a function. Mm. But um, uh, uh, the question is, uh, uh, is it true? Uh, so, um, uh, 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 to, uh, so uh, uh, what is written uh, here uh, uh, is a statement that uh, uh, such uh, 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 such exponents uh, should uh, uh, well. The answer is that it is, uh, but we will need to check this. 
The statement is that uh, this uh, exponents uh, uh, form a uh, complete uh, uh, basis uh, in the space uh, of uh, 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 periodic functions on a circle. And the statement that we can uh, uh, compute this Fourier coefficient in this way and construct. Uh, uh, and construct back the sum is a, is a statement about completeness. So, so we can, because in principle, we could try to write uh, the same uh, uh, for just a, a few exponents, like take a first uh, three of them and try to write this formula. In, in principle, it, it would look like uh, we can uh, compute the coefficients of uh, this expansion, but the problem can be that uh, when we sum uh, uh, only a few projections on uh, onto, uh, on uh, several different uh, uh, functions, uh, it will not be the original function. We will miss uh, some part of uh, space. So um, here we need to, uh, to check that uh, constructed function uh, will be actually the original one. And uh, uh, I'm going to uh, show it now. So is it fine? Okay, so, so let us uh, write uh, what it is. Uh, uh, so this, uh, 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 well, uh, let us write the uh, right hand side. So this right hand side equals to uh, sum over n in n in z. Uh, here we need to introduce uh, some new variable uh, for integration because uh, here's x, here's another x. So let us write uh, some y. And dy from 0 to 1, uh, e to the 2 pi i, n and uh, uh, minus 2 pi i and y phi of y uh, times e to the 2 pi i and x. Mm. Uh, so we see that uh, almost immediately uh, we need to, uh, to Take just a single sum of these exponents. Mm. So sum over. Mm. So let us exchange uh, uh, sum and the integral uh, here. Uh, it will be integral from zero to one dy. Uh, uh, Um, uh, here is some problem that uh, uh, x and y live on the unit circle uh, and uh, uh, any of uh, these uh, uh, numbers uh, uh, has absolute uh, oh, no, so x and y live on the unit interval and uh, any of this uh, number lives on the unit circle uh, so uh, the series is a uh, divergent just immediately uh, uh, so the question is what to do? And the answer is the following. Uh, so we will check later that if we choose uh, uh, of x, uh, uh, maybe we can choose it, uh, we can check it right now, that uh, if uh, you know, of x is uh, uh, some uh, uh, continuous function, then 
it's uh, a Fourier coefficient. Uh, uh, you know, some of these integrals, integrals uh, will uh, go um, to zero as a, a one over n. Uh, so uh, this, uh, uh, um, and if we ask uh, it to be even more smooth, it will go to zero like one over n squared. So this original series uh, uh, was uh, convergent. So it means that since, since it is uh, already convergent, we can and modify it a little bit uh, uh, without uh, uh, changing the answer. So um, I want to say the following thing, that uh, uh, we can uh, insert here uh, some uh, regulator function. I'm define it like this. e to minus epsilon absolute value of n. So if the series uh, uh, is convergent, it means that uh, uh, if we truncate uh, the sum at some uh, number, uh, at some number uh, a k big enough, uh, the contribution from uh, all these terms uh, uh, greater than k will go to zero. And uh, so, uh, if uh, uh, this uh, uh, if this regulator function uh, is not uh, very different uh, from uh, one uh, at the part uh, we need to uh, uh, to uh, take, uh, then it uh, does not change uh, the answer. Oh, I, I can try to write it a little bit uh, uh, more precisely, but uh, is the idea clear or, or, or not? Does it look like uh, uh, like uh, a normal argument? Mm. Oh, but uh, let us maybe f f first uh, uh, do uh, this uh, thing and then ju justify uh, why uh, uh, everything was fine. Right. Is, is it fine? Okay. So, yeah. so, mm, so such take is uh, uh, very familiar for mm, uh, uh, physicists and it's called uh, regularization. When we um, uh, add some regulators to any object uh, which is uh, divergent, and then remove it uh, uh, at the, the end of uh, calculations, and if if uh, we actually had some divergences, then the regulators will affect uh, the answer. But if we did it with convergent uh, series, then this regulator will just disappear. And uh, so, so here I'm also inserting this e to minus n. Uh, uh, minus epsilon uh, absolute value of n and take this limit epsilon goes to zero and goes to zero. Mm. Uh, so here we need to take this sum epsilon goes to zero uh, minus epsilon absolute value of n. Uh, phi of y. So, uh, so this sum is uh, now well um, convergent. And uh, let us compute it to see uh, what it is. Uh, Ah, maybe I can still use uh, this uh, in this corner to, to to start this computation. So the orbital for n equals to zero. 
to the one and it will be terms uh, with uh, 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 two uh, 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 geometric progressions uh, and that start from one so one is uh, one gives e to uh, minus uh, minus uh, epsilon uh, uh, plus uh, 2 pi i x minus y divided by one plus e to minus epsilon plus two pi i x minus y so and uh, another a term is uh, uh, and the same, but uh, with a different uh, uh, sign in the exponential. So, is it uh, clear why we have this answer? Uh, it, it, it's uh, uh, oh, it is uh, very close uh, in a sense that uh, if we uh, so the formula is this: uh, uh, if you take uh, x, if you take one over x uh, plus uh, i epsilon, it, it, it will it will equal to uh, um, how is it called? Uh, it's for value of uh, uh, the name p of uh, one over x uh, minus uh, pi i delta of x. So there is a, a limit when epsilon goes to zero. So it, it, it in this formula. So principal part is what uh, a principal part is a more or less real part of this expression, uh, and the imaginary part is a, a delta function. And we are going to obtain this delta function here. Uh, uh, we can use it, but uh, I would prefer to derive uh, this uh, formula. I have to derive this formula. Because no, but even in the complex analysis, it's not automatic. Uh, we need to know it uh, from, from somewhere, and uh, uh, I think it should be the same argument. But and the only difference is that uh, this function is on a, a line, and uh, we have a little bit more complicated case on on, on circle. So. Uh, by the way, let us call this a function delta epsilon of x minus y. So, so uh, let's have this.
So th this was just a result of computation of uh, uh, two uh, geometric progressions and that starts uh, uh, that starts from uh, q to one. So it's formula that uh, q plus uh, q squared plus uh, and so on equals to a q over uh, uh, one minus q. Oh, uh, I actually I made a mistake because uh, so sorry it, it is minus. Uh, So and the, uh, this is a sum for positive ends, and this is sum for negative ends. So, and uh, 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 now let us study this function, mm. uh, namely. Uh, 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 the first question is, uh, uh, what happens uh, if you send uh, this epsilon to zero? So what happens if we uh, 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 consider this uh, limit uh, uh, in the case when uh, this uh, exponential uh, is uh, different from one? Uh, uh, e to the 2 pi i x minus y is different from 1. So, uh, in this case, uh, we see that uh, we can, uh, there are no singularities uh, in this function. We can just uh, uh, put uh, epsilon equals uh, uh, to uh, uh, zero and uh, see uh, what happens. Uh, so, delta zero of x minus y equals to 1 plus uh, uh, e to the 2 pi i x minus y uh, over 1 minus e to the 2 pi i x minus y plus So, uh, 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 who knows what it is, who, who can compute. No, but uh, wait, it's a very, very simple answer. So, what happens if you, uh, well, 
I don't know, let me do this computation here. If I combine these two terms, uh, we can get what? We get uh, 1 over 1 minus e to the 2 pi i uh, x minus y. It's uh, the first two terms. And this exponent, this exponent just cancel with this one. When we combine it to a common denominator, and if you want to transform this function to the same form, we can move this exponent to a denominator, and it gives one over e to the two pi i x minus y minus one. So, and it's just zero. Yeah. So. So we see that, so it's a, 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 some kind of a, a statement uh, that uh, sum of, uh, that uh, you can sum uh, 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 from n equals to, uh, if you sum from n equals to zero uh, to infinity uh, in q to the n, and it will equal to one over one minus q. Uh, you can sum from uh, n equals to minus one to minus infinity uh, and q to the n and it, it will be uh, formally. If we don't, if you say that here is q less than one, here q is uh, greater than one, so formally it will be uh, 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 q inverse uh, over 1 minus q inverse. Uh, so, so it will be uh, minus 1 over 1 minus q. And uh, uh, formally, if we take these two sums together, uh, then uh, sum from minus infinity to plus infinity and q to the n will be kind of uh, zero, but it is uh, a zero uh, only in uh, the singularized sense uh, when Q is on the unit circle, uh, where both uh, expressions uh, uh, can have some chance uh, to converge, but not equal to one, because if it equals to one, it will be literally, uh, literally uh, infinity. So the answer is actually that the sum equals to a uh, uh, delta function of uh, of uh, uh, q or something like q minus one. Like so, when q equals to one, it it is uh, uh, it it is uh, um, infinity. Otherwise, it goes to a zero, but the integral is one. But uh, So this kind of statement, and uh, literally this is what uh, we had. We, we were summing uh, this uh, exponential of uh, 2 pi i uh, and x minus y from minus infinity to plus infinity, and said that uh, after we took the sum uh, and uh, uh, x is different for, from y, it is just some function, a function of uh, epsilon x and y, and we can send epsilon to zero and see what happens. And the answer is here. If, if x is different from y, and we send epsilon to zero, this function goes to zero. Right? But, uh, hmm? uh, which sum? Uh, oh, I, I've put uh, epsilon equals to zero here. So it's, uh, I'm computing delta zero. Hmm? Uh, 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 oh, oh, is it a question about the first term? So, so is it 
fine. Okay. So, but uh, now let us. So, so we see that the uh, x and y are different from zero. It is uh, x minus y different from zero. It is zero. But uh, let us see what happens when x uh, uh, and uh, x minus y is close to zero. Uh, uh, namely, uh, when uh, x uh, minus y. Uh, absolute value of x minus y is uh, uh, much greater than one, and uh, uh, epsilon is also much uh, or much less than one, and epsilon is also much less than one. Mm. On this delta epsilon of uh, x minus y can be written as a uh, one. Well, let me uh, first write it in. Uh, a little bit more convenient way. Um, so let us combine this uh, first uh, terms. Uh, get uh, um, one over one minus e to minus epsilon um, plus uh, two pi i x minus y. It's basically all in the same computation. Uh, and uh, uh, move the c to minus epsilon uh, to the minute of the second uh, term. It will be uh, 1 over e to minus epsilon. Uh, ah, e to the plus epsilon. Mm, plus 2 pi i. Mm, x minus y minus 1. So, so, so it is uh, basically the same expression but uh, modified with, uh, with this epsilon. And uh, now let us uh, uh, use uh, this condition that they are uh, less than 1 and uh, uh, write it like this. It is uh, 1 over uh, Epsilon minus two pi i uh, x minus y. Uh, and this will be one over epsilon uh, plus two pi i x minus y. So So combining this together, we get uh, mm, two epsilon over uh, epsilon squared plus uh, uh, four pi squared x x minus y squared. Right, uh, so um, you actually see that uh, when x uh, minus y is uh, um, much greater than epsilon, it goes to zero. But when we put it literally equal to zero, uh, it uh, uh, it uh, uh, goes to infinity, like uh, two over uh, two over epsilon. So this function around zero behaves like this. Is x minus y it behaves like something like this of with uh, epsilon approximately and height uh, to over epsilon. Uh, so uh, we see that it, it is of height uh, to our epsilon and of width 
epsilon, it means that uh, in principle it might happen that uh, the integral of uh, this function uh, is a uh, constant, uh, uh, well, uh, the integral of this function goes to something finite uh, when we send epsilon to zero. And uh, let us actually check this. So, uh, namely, uh, let us ask, what is the integral uh, from um, minus infinity uh, to plus infinity of a function uh, 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 to epsilon uh, over epsilon squared plus uh, 4 pi z squared, 4 pi squared uh, z squared uh, dz. So, so uh, 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 who knows uh, how to compute uh, uh, such integrals? What are um, uh, possible ideas? For example, the first thing we can understand here is that it actually does not depend on epsilon. Uh, because we can scale z by epsilon. Yes, that's instead of x minus epsilon. So if, if I'm not wrong, mm -hmm. it's, it's been written as uh, um, two times uh, is the integral from zero to yes, because uh, it's a uh, given. Uh, yes, of course, but how does it help? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, it is true in the sense that the uh, um, uh, integral of dx of 1 over 1 plus x squared is a uh, arc, arc tangent, uh, and we just need to compute it at uh, plus and minus infinity. So it will give some uh, 2 pi's, uh, or it will give some pi, uh, pi over 2 mi minus pi over 2, and it will be proportional to a uh, pi. Uh, it's doable. But, uh, uh, if uh, you don't remember this uh, integral, there is uh, a kind of uh, in, in industrial way to compute uh, the integrals uh, which uh, are from minus infinity to plus infinity. Because if it is uh, some definite integral of some number, uh, it is more complicated and, uh, and uh, you are using uh, uh, more uh, knowledge. Uh, you know that uh, if it is some uh, number here, then it is arc tangent, but uh, you don't need it. And uh, um, it is actually uh, e e easier to do with infinite uh, integration limits uh, for the following reason, because uh, uh, this uh, function, uh, so, so the idea is that uh, we need to go to the complex domain. Mm. And uh, this function, which is written here, has this form to epsilon dz over epsilon squared. Uh, uh, well, let us write it as a, a product of two terms. It will be uh, epsilon uh, plus, uh, plus uh, 2 pi i z, epsilon minus 2 pi i z. So uh, there is uh, this function which behaves like 1 over z squared uh, 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 at infinity. And it has uh, uh, two uh, poles at epsilon uh, uh, over 2 pi, at uh, i epsilon over 2 pi, and minus i epsilon over 2 pi. So originally our integral, uh, our integral goes over this uh, uh, real uh, path. Um, let us call it uh, some contour CR. But uh, we uh, would like uh, to uh, have just integral around this uh, pole. Uh, 
So uh, let us also consider this integration domain, which is uh, let us note it as C infinity. So, uh, so our integral uh, is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, and it is an integral over this uh, contour CR. Uh, and uh, 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 now uh, um, the question is, uh, 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 what is the value of uh, uh, and uh, let us well. Uh, question is, what is the value of this integral uh, on this uh, uh, contour at uh, at infinity? Maybe let us introduce some number r, uh, saying that uh, that uh, and this contour uh, goes over the uh, semicircle of uh, radius uh, r. So it, it means that the absolute value of z is r. So the question is, uh, what is the behavior of this integral uh, when r goes goes to infinity? Yes, and uh, what is the dependence? Uh, how fast uh, is it going to zero? It looks like uh, once over this time t. Oh, oh I, I would say r. Okay. Because uh, the uh, length of the circle is proportional to r and function is uh, uh, inverse of one over r squared. So it goes to zero then. Mm. Uh, so uh, we can now uh, uh, say that uh, our integral uh, is actually the integral uh, uh, over uh, C R plus C R when this R, when R goes to infinity. Of uh, but uh, uh, now this contour can be shrinked uh, to this uh, uh, function uh, uh, to, to this uh, uh, pole because there is a single pole in, uh, in, in inside this contour. So we just need to compute uh, the integral around the uh, small circle around uh, um, epsilon over 2 pi. So it is integral over uh, pi epsilon over 2 pi um, to epsilon dz. Um, let us write it like uh, um, So it, it means uh, that, uh, oh, let us draw the contour on this small contour about around uh, pi seven over to pi. So it, it will be just a uh, um, uh, integral of this function uh, z over this, uh, which equals to two pi i. Mm. 
uh, at times uh, everything else computed at this point right so it will be 2 pi i times uh, 2 f7 over 4 pi squared over uh, times uh, 2 i seven over 2 pi so I, 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 is it clear why, why it is so Yes, yes, of course. And, and this is precisely what I'm doing. I'm saying that uh, um, this, uh, uh, well, let me write it in more detail. Now, this function uh, is, uh, so it's integral around this uh, point. Mm. Uh, times uh, uh, like everything else uh, uh, pi squared uh, this uh, z plus i seven over two pi computed it uh, on this point plus uh, a derivative of this uh, computed at the same point mm. derivative computed at this point times uh, uh, z minus uh, i epsilon over to pi plus and so on times uh, z minus uh, i epsilon over to pi squared uh, and so on so so with this series of our of remaining part but we, we don't care about these terms because uh, um, they uh, because uh, they are proportional to z minus epsilon over to pi and it gives constant it gives something linear and the only contribution to this integral comes from uh, uh, from the first order pole so, so we only need to take this uh, this term and uh, uh, right that uh, integral of uh, uh, dz over z minus also so uh, basically using the formula that uh, uh, integral uh, over a dz times uh, sum of uh, so from k equals to minus n to infinity cn uh, C minus a to the n um, equals uh, to two pi i uh, C minus one. So, and then this uh, and this C minus one is called residue. Uh, so this integral equals to um, uh, what to two pi times uh, two pi i uh, divided by uh, four pi squared uh, two i seven uh, over Uh, two pi, right? Uh, 
Ah, so, so oh, oh, wait, why did I write uh, to pi? It, it was to epsilon. To, to epsilon. And uh, if you look uh, carefully, uh, we see that uh, everything cancels and uh, it gives just one. So, uh, uh, but uh, are there any questions about this computation? Uh, yes, no, no, thank you. I, I fixed it in the first term, but not in the second. Mm -hmm. so. so, are there any other questions about computation? We will have uh, a, a lot of uh, similar computations with uh, um, uh, sometimes a little bit more complicated functions. So, uh, so it is a, a very unusual thing. Uh, for example, if you compute some Fourier transform. So, um, so here we didn't, didn't have any standard denominator in the numerator, but in principle we could have an exponential there. And it will be also the meaningful object. Is it fine? Okay, so, so what we checked here is that this integral, which is essentially non zero in the vicinity of zero, size epsilon, equals to one. Which means that uh, 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 this uh, function uh, delta uh, epsilon, which we obtained here, has the two properties. So let us write it here. Delta epsilon of uh, x minus y uh, goes to, uh, uh, to zero when epsilon goes to zero. And... Uh, uh, x minus y are not in uh, 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 e to the 2 pi x minus y x minus y is different from 1 and the integral of this uh, delta epsilon uh, uh, from 0 to 1 equals to 1. So actually, actually I was cheating here a, a, a little bit because in principle uh, we should have computed uh, this integral for the function uh, it, itself. Uh, uh, but uh, it is uh, the analogous uh, computation and we will also need to uh, compute uh, the re residues of such uh, functions. And they will be not on a line but uh, on a circle. Uh, and uh, the answer is uh, the same, that this integral is, uh, is uh, 1. Mm. So, uh, so we, we have such properties, uh, and uh, this is uh, called uh, 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 delta-like uh, uh, sequence of uh, functions, uh, uh, which uh, uh, so uh, such that each of uh, this uh, uh, fu functions uh, uh, are actual functions, but uh, the limit uh, of the sequence uh, uh, is not a function, because uh, there is no such function that has the integral one and uh, is zero in all points except one. Uh, it is the uh, so-called generalized function. And uh, uh, let me uh, say uh, what it is. So, uh, 
actually for probably I can erase this. Ah, but um, actually, before doing to this uh, in general uh, uh, story, let us say finish what uh, we were already do, doing. So, so um, we obtained uh, these properties of this uh, delta epsilon, and uh, uh, let us say use these properties uh, uh, to finish the computation, uh, which we. Uh, uh, stopped here. So, so uh, uh, we were reconstructing uh, the function phi of x uh, from its uh, Fourier components uh, uh, phi n's. Uh, and uh, we had to compute uh, this sum. So we computed it and uh, we realized that it is in this delta like uh, uh, sequence. So n now let us uh, use this property uh, to actually compute this integral, to compute the limit of this integral. So Mm. So, so you have a, a limit to epsilon goes to zero, a, a integral from zero to one, a dy uh, delta epsilon of x minus y phi of y. Uh, uh, so, uh, since uh, this uh, function goes to zero uh, in all points except uh, uh, y equals to x, uh, we can just uh, write this and say that this integral uh, is uh, actually the integral in a small vicinity of, uh, uh, of x. So, this is... Uh, a limit when seven goes to zero, and so we can ask uh, something like uh, x minus uh, <laughs> epsilon, some power like one one third, something bigger than uh, and just epsilon. And it it doesn't, does not matter which precise uh, coefficient. times uh, phi of y dy. But if this phi of y is in some uh, reasonable class, like it is uh, at least continuous or even dif differentiable, uh, we can say that uh, since uh, this uh, integral uh, goes over this uh, uh, small interval, we can just replace uh, this uh, phi by its value at x. So it is uh, phi of x uh, times uh, uh, this limit uh, goes, oh, in here, sorry, it goes to zero. Sorry. Hmm? I don't understand why epsilon becomes uh, ep epsilonless with uh, the exponent, uh, epsilon exponential 1 over 3. Hmm? Uh, no, uh, uh, where? Uh, what exponential? Ah, no, I, I, I just uh, put uh, some, uh, uh, some number uh, to say that uh, it is a much bigger interval, uh, inter interval than just epsilon. So, so that definitely this integral equals to 1. So it's something between 1 and epsilon. Uh, we can put here some a, some a epsilon uh, uh, minus a epsilon so, so that Yes, which uh, uh, so said so, so that uh, uh, the remainder in this uh, integral uh, will be uh, less than uh, we, we want, less than some power of epsilon, for example. So let me, uh, we can check that it is possible to do. So on this uh, a epsilon uh, should be less uh, less than one and much bigger than epsilon itself. So, mm. 
So it will be just uh, uh, this integral uh, x minus uh, a epsilon to x plus a epsilon, uh, but and this equals to 1. So we get uh, phi of x. So it's uh, the uh, end of uh, the computation. We proved uh, that this uh, sum, where we combined uh, uh, phi of x uh, uh, from its uh, uh, Fourier components, uh, uh, is uh, uh, actually a phi of x. So uh, here we see, so, so uh, what we proved uh, uh, here uh, actually was a uh, uh, kind of, no, not kind of, just a pointwise uh, convergence of uh, 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 facts. But there are some uh, details, uh, uh, some important details, which I, I will uh, tell uh, later, uh, which, uh, uh, which, uh, 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 make uh, the statement uh, uh, true only for uh, uh, continuous uh, fun functions, because uh, for uh, for uh, the um, uh, general uh, case with a uh, discontinuous function, this uh, pointwise convergence is bro broken uh, around uh, um, the points of discontinuity. So if you have something like this, then uh, 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 depending on how we regularize the sums, for example, if we take uh, partial sums, uh, then we can get a uh, behavior like, like this, uh, which uh, doesn't, does not necessarily con con converge. So, I uh, no, no, sorry, I, uh, no, I, it is true that it will, it will be pointwise convergent in all cases, but if you take the maximum of difference between a phi of x and uh, some partial sums of this uh, phi of x, then uh, uh, it uh, uh, does not necessarily go to zero. So, so there can be a sequence of functions that squeeze uh, uh, to, um, to zero, but has uh, a finite uh, oscillation different from the oscillation of pi of x. Uh, it's uh, called a Higgs phenomenon. Mm. But uh, uh, mm, in general, there is uh, this uh, computation, and if if, uh, if we remove these regulators, so if you, if you use these regulators, we can write it uh, as follows. Mm. We can write this com uh, uh, complete oscillation like uh, uh, sum over uh, sum over n in z. Uh, e to the minus 2 pi i and uh, y uh, e to the 2 pi i and x uh, oh, we can put here e to the minus we can uh, still this regulator then it will be equal to some delta epsilon of x minus y uh, but uh, otherwise it will be just a kind of formal relation This is a generalized function. So this way we proved that uh, uh, actually uh, any uh, function of some uh, 
uh, uh, reasonable conditions uh, can be uh, presented uh, as a Fourier series. And uh, so uh, all these uh, 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 considerations of uh, 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 solutions of the wave equations are applicable to any function. So if you want uh, uh, to uh, uh, write uh, some s solution, we need to compute uh, the uh, for a series uh, uh, on a circle or on the interval, uh, find this uh, for a coefficients and uh, substitute it uh, into the formula. Then the question is uh, uh, how to uh, compute uh, the sum, uh, and uh, um, uh, sometimes it can be computed, uh, sometimes uh, uh, not, uh, but um, uh, we can always uh, tr uh, truncate it at uh, some number of terms and uh, uh, draw some uh, uh, approximate uh, pictures. So. So, uh, are there any questions about this? Well, well, it's it's uh, the next question. Uh, but actually, uh, let us uh, discuss uh, such uh, things uh, now. Uh, like uh, the question, uh, the question is: uh, so uh, somehow we managed to understand that in principle this uh, Fourier transformation should work. Uh, but now let us uh, ask uh, uh, how precisely uh, 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 does it work, and uh, what? Uh, uh, what, what, what do we need? So uh, we have. Uh, 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 so basically, uh, I want to discuss the following question. So uh, suppose that uh, uh, phi of x uh, uh, is uh, uh, in uh, mm, uh, C, uh, in some R, R times differentiable functions of uh, on S one. Uh, the question is, what is the asymptotics of uh, you know, the coefficients in this Fourier series? Question is, what are the asymptotics of uh, uh, of uh, the uh, uh, coefficients of the square expansion in in, in this limit? Uh, and so let us study on this. Uh, so. Uh, if it is R time differentiable, so this phi n equals to integral over dx uh, phi of x, uh, it is uh, 2 pi i minus 2 pi i and x. So if it is R times differentiable, we can uh, integrate uh, this uh, uh, integral 
by parts uh, uh, r times. Uh, so it will equal uh, after all the same integrations uh, uh, to integral from zero to one, um, one over minus two pi i, uh, maybe. Maybe one over two pi i. And to the power r e to the Uh, so it is possible to do, uh, but uh, let us uh, say that uh, this function, uh, for example, is an R differentiable functions, but not in a CR plus one. Uh, which means that uh, this uh, phi R uh, uh, is, uh, uh, let, let me think. Wait. Uh, and it's stuck. How many times should the function be differentiable set so that um, its R's derivative is already discontinuous? So, Let me let me just write uh, uh, that uh, uh, without this, if I R has discontinuities. So, uh, but before that, it can be differentiated. Uh, so, um, we differentiate it r times, but when it has discontinuity, so we cannot differentiate it anymore. And uh, uh, so, um, could could we do this last? Uh, Transformation. Yes, we could. So, so uh, there is uh, this uh, this integral uh, uh, with some discontinuities uh, uh, at points a one, a two, uh, and and so on. Uh, a k in principle infinitely many of them. But uh, let, let us say that at, at this uh, moment, I uh, write this integral as a uh, uh, sum over this uh, uh, intervals when phi is uh, continuous. Uh, so, so it's sum over the integrals uh, like 1 over 2 pi i, pi 
AI and low power R mm, uh, integral from A uh, A A P to A P plus one mm. And uh, uh, here, since we integrate uh, between the discontinuities of this derivative, uh, uh, we can uh, define, uh, we can integrate by parts. Uh, so it's integration by parts. Uh, we can integrate by parts uh, once again, and but it will be the last time. Uh, so so uh, we do this integration by parts. Uh, uh. And we will get e to the 2 pi i uh, n to power uh, r plus 1 and it will contain phi uh, r of uh, mm, so it's phi r of x of uh, a p plus 1 uh, times e to the minus 2 pi i uh, a p plus 1. Uh, it will be kind of uh, phi, uh, let us denote it phi minus, uh, in a sense it is a lower limit uh, at this discontinuity, uh, minus uh, phi uh, minus phi plus r of uh, a p e to the minus 2 pi i uh, a p uh, yeah, a p. So there will be this, uh, uh, these expressions and uh, plus uh, the integral uh, about which we don't uh, care anymore. It will be the integral uh, from uh, AP still to AP plus 1, uh, phi of x, uh, r, plus one, r plus 1. Uh, so, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, sum is inside. And uh, now uh, we uh, uh, combine uh, this uh, sum because we see that uh, each term uh, appears uh, uh, two times. Uh, one time when it is uh, a lower limit, uh, another time when it is uh, upper limit. Uh, so we combine all this together and get uh, something like uh, uh, 1 over 2 pi i n to power r plus 1. Mm. Mm. sum over p mm. e to the minus 2 pi i mm. Mm. a p phi mm. minus of a p minus phi class of AP. Uh, plus uh, this uh, integral. Uh, 
Uh, actually, no, so, sorry, it was fine. There's overall sign, sum. So the essential thing is that uh, uh, this uh, term, which we uh, obtained uh, here, behaves like one over uh, n to power r plus one. So it behaves like uh, one over n to power r plus one. So, is, is it clear? So, uh, uh, some, some, some examples of this. So if in Firefox, so let us look at this condition that our derivative has discontinuities. So if Firefox is piecewise continuous, So if it is continuous, uh, and then if I n behave like one over absolute value of n squared, uh, and, uh, and, and and so on, so differentiable. So, uh, 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 so uh, when we uh, uh, performed uh, this computation, uh, and it would be nice uh, to uh, have uh, um, at least a continuous uh, function, because uh, with this behavior, it's uh, um, uh, not uh, obvious uh, if the the sum is convergent uh, or not, it depends on uh, phases. So, and, uh, but so actually, actually, I started to answer some question there, uh, but. Uh, uh, forgot what was the uh, original question. So, why did they uh, decide to uh, tell this uh, today? Ah. Mm -hmm. Ah, I, I, I see. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, so, so yes, uh, 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 I wanted it, uh, uh, so, so I told how this affects uh, the coefficients, and now let us see what was the point where this uh, was uh, essential. 
And, uh, and namely, there was uh, this point when we tried to say that uh, we can uh, uh, add uh, this uh, regulator function and add uh, this limit. Um, and because uh, uh, if you know that uh, this uh, uh, phi n's uh, behave like uh, 1 over n squared, uh, uh, we could say, let me write this uh, piece of the derivation here. So we wrote that phi, phi of x, uh, we wrote this series uh, e to minus uh, epsilon, epsilon absolute value of n uh, times uh, phi n times uh, 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 times e to the 2 pi i and x. And uh, if uh, uh, phi n behaves uh, like uh, uh, 1 over n uh, squared, at least, then uh, we can say that uh, uh, this uh, 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 and this can be uh, uh, separated uh, into uh, sum from uh, uh, for absolute value of n less than some k okay. mm. Uh, plus uh, 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 some uh, for absolute value of n greater than k, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, that sum can be uh, 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 approximated by uh, one over k because uh, sum of uh, uh, one over n squared uh, uh, from n equals to k to infinity can be approximated by the integral. Mm. d n over uh, n squared. So it behaves like 1 over k plus sum o of uh, 1 over k. Uh, and uh, 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 then uh, uh, this uh, can be uh, uh, so, so if you want to, to compare this sum with regulator and uh, without regulator, let us write this difference actually here. Let us write here minus 1. Mm, and spy n uh, so uh, we can uh, say that uh, this is uh, something uh, of uh, finite uh, 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 times uh, this uh, <laughs> difference at the uh, at the end of uh, the interval of summation minus epsilon k minus one uh, plus uh, all of uh, one over k mm. uh, so. Uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, when we have this, uh, we can say that uh, let us epsilon b of uh, order 1 over k squared. Mm. So, so here we choose uh, the 
then this difference will be of order one one over k. And this will behave like uh, minus c over k plus uh, o of uh, one over k. So it is of order one over k. So, uh, uh, so the point is that uh, uh, if we uh, uh, consider this difference uh, between a, a, a regulated series and a non-regulated series, and uh, uh, send uh, epsilon to zero like one over k squared, then the behavior of this difference will be uh, so. If for such convergence of phi, it will be of uh, order one over k, maybe even better. I, I need to think, but at least uh, this is uh, for sure. So it means uh, that uh, um, uh, we can prove uh, in this way uh, a point-wise uh, convergence of uh, uh, this uh, uh, of uh, uh, this uh, 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 sum to the original function. And this is in this specification why, why we uh, could uh, modify the sum of the same regulator. So if in the series was originally uh, well convergent, like 1 over n squared, we could modify it a little bit uh, uh, to make it uh, uh, convergent uh, very fastly, in, in, independently on what uh, function we substitute here. Uh, and uh, so do all these computations and remove this regularization uh, back. But um, before this, that, uh, we check that uh, the limit of uh, the series uh, when epsilon goes to zero actually uh, coincides uh, with uh, the uh, original value. So is, is, is it fine? Oh. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, well, uh, probably, uh, 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 Everything, I think, was more or less rigorous, except for this computation of the integral of the delta function. But you can uh, actually just check uh, for this uh, function. It is uh, some uh, exercise in complex analysis. You can check that the integral of this function uh, is uh, also 1. Like, uh, it's not uh, the limiting behavior. It is just uh, uh, true 1. For fine epsilon. Okay. So do 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 you have any, any questions? I, I, I will uh, write uh, some uh, uh, new problems about this uh, things, uh, like some exercises to compute some Fourier transforms, maybe, and, and uh, send them a little bit later. So and, uh, starting uh, uh, from the next week, uh, uh, we will have uh, uh, just uh, one lecture uh, at uh, four. Uh, by the way, may I ask you uh, your names uh, so that I uh, uh, start learning them? Uh, my name is Alice. Ah, so did, did, did you write your email? Ah, yeah, so you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have all, all your emails, right? Okay, thanks for your attention.